Yo, 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 what is popping, my gamers? This is ya boy, uh, Hunter M64, back with another technology review. Um, it's a projector. I bought it at Goodwill for $6.99. I don't think they actually make them anymore. Uh, as you can see, it's AV input. So I think at the maximum resolution gets a 480i. Um, there's the power button. We got volume, color, and contrast. And you can like twist this to adjust the image too. Um, what is this projector you're asking? I don't fucking know either. Uh, it is called the Merch Source Projector Entertainment 2. As I said, found it at Goodwill. So I'd pick it up because, you know, why not? And it's, uh, it's not half bad. Let's just uh, turn off the lights and get an actual look at it. So, here we got my Wii. Um, yeah, Monster Hunter 3 try. Um, let me see. Motion sensors back here. Let's go back to the Wii menu. As you can see, it's kind of crusty. <laughs> like, it's kind of, they don't really make things out too well. Like, I can barely see the time here, and not at all what the date is. Um, I mean, other than that, it's, like, not horrible. We still make things out of this. You can read Monster Hunter Try. I'll just start that up and see how an actual game, like, performs, I suppose. I mean, let me turn your landscape, too. Bet you would like that. Okay, sorry for that cut. just kind of wanted to get my grips up a bit better. And we're also in landscape mode, too. Here's the opening cutscene. Yeah, you can tell what that is. Can I skip this? There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can barely, you can like barely read that shit. Oh, I can't read that at all. I only have the first character, I only have one character though, so you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> That's a bit of a mess of pixels. Starting the village. I think it also shows up a bit better in person, like I can see more. I think it would also be better, um, turn the lights on real quick, uh, so you don't get flashbang, just prepare yourself. As you can see, it's a wooden wall. I think if it was a white background, it'd be a bit better. Um, like I was using it on my ceiling before and it kind of looked a bit better than it does now, but I can't really get like a good wide image just from my ceiling. So I thought this would be better to show off like how big it can get. So there's me, Noga Village. Let's see if we can't do a hunt. First star, some mushrooms. I think that was a jaggy slaying one. Let's switch to a different weapon. Just gotta find which one of these is like, oh, I can't go to my house when I already accepted a quest. I guess we'll use hammer. Farm aid, okay. I thought I was going to the farm. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can really tell. There's, like, the, the, the wall's kind of dirty. And, like, the lines in it don't really help the image any. But you can still tell what's going on. Like, I could definitely fight a monster like this. I mean, my color and contrast might not be optimized either. They were at 20, like default is out of the box, which was absolutely terrible for both of them. Uh, the color doesn't change like the color hue though. 
it's literally just like a zero. It's a black and white image. So I don't know if 20 would be the best. I have it at like 10, and I thought, you know, it seems fine enough. Um, oh, also, I'm, I'm sure you can probably hear the sound. If not, let me get a bit closer to this thing. Um, the funny part about that, I mean, it's cool that it has a speaker, right? That's pretty cool. So that way, you know, your audio is all right there with your image. But the problem is, it's currently set at zero. So you actually can't have this thing, like, silent. And if, like, this is too loud for you, you know, you're just kind of like, fuck. Like, fuck you, you know? So that is, that, I would say that is a downside. And the other obvious downside would probably be the image quality. But I think if you're using it, like, not as big, it's a bit better. Like, the clarity is definitely there when it's a bit smaller of a screen. It just advertises 120 inches, and I kind of want to see how big I can get it just in my house. Um, so actually, that's a good idea. Let me see just how big I can actually like physically get it before it just starts looking completely awful. Let me go. Let me get somewhere safe real quick. Obviously, my exercise equipment's going to be in the way the equipment that goes unused. You can't really see them right now, but they're there off to the sides. Those will kind of get in the way, but I mean, this is just an exercise. And how far back can we go? I can't tell what's happening in there at all. Anyway. <laughs> we'll just um, pull this thing back. Let's see what happens. Probably, probably should have chosen somewhere a bit brighter because you can't really see anything on screen right now. Uh, this is about... Oh, that clicking sound is the handle. You can, like, adjust it to work as a stand. I guess as far as back, I can actually get it. Um, so let's go to somewhere brighter real quick. Oh, I'm using a wet stone. I can't really see it, but I sure can hear it. I'm playing completely one handed now. Um, yeah, I would I would call that significantly worse. Now it might be because I haven't I haven't even really like tried focusing the lens or anything, but like <laughs> it's definitely lost a lot of clarity. Like, it's getting harder to distinguish between the sky and the ground a little bit. Except, well, I mean, not really on these, like, bright blue parts, but, like, something like there. It can get a bit... They kind of blend in with each other. I'm sure you could still play games like this, but, like, trying to read any kind of menu would be absolutely abysmal. But, now if we do the opposite of what we just did, however... So let's do that real quick. Let me just take this sucker and bring it forward. Oh, I'm moving this in my pocket. We'll actually try like adjusting the lens real quick. See if that does anything. Oh, push it down. Put it right, right there. Yeah, that was good. See, that's actually kind of more, like a lot more distinguishable, I would say. I could probably definitely play a game like this. And again, it'd probably be a lot better on a white background too, but I don't think we're good to put that in my house. Like this was already a pretty bad spot. I had to take that cardboard up there just to block out the light so I could even get this to like show up on camera at all. But I mean, if you find this thing for 750 to fucking Goodwill, I would say, I would say pick it up. It's definitely kind of fun just to play something like Monster Hunter Try on your ceiling, you know? If you don't have a good wall, just put it on your fucking ceiling. Actually, let me see if I can do that. I'm gonna beat up by this Aptim off, but let me just, oh yeah, oh my God. And that's gonna be a bit difficult as you show on camera and try to play at the same time. Especially because of the vents. 
but let's see if we do that. Let me try and try and focus that lens a bit more. Well, you can see that's a lot crisper. Like I can almost read that it says Weststone in the corner. That that is definitely a much more enjoyable experience. It's just kind of fun to just lay on your floor and play some games on your ceiling. You know? So yeah, would I say this is worth the $750? Probably. I guess I saw on eBay for like $15. I don't know if I pay that much, but you know. It would be your worst uh, financial decision you've ever made, you know? But playing on the ceiling does exasperate the problem of the loudness. Because like, it does, it is kind of loud in my ear. If I was like playing at night especially too, like it would just sound deafening. So that is one thing. When you plug in headphones, I'm almost, I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost scared to, because I don't know how much it will deafen me with zero not being silent. You know? But uh, other than that, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want more.